What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Trucker Mike. Today's video is about... Well, I've been getting... When I was doing YouTube... Two years ago, before I took a break. Um... I think I did a video on the spreadsheet that I use, the estimated earnings sheet that that I use to keep track of my loads and uh, to see how much my settlement check every Friday is going to be, uh, plus or minus $100 or whatever. I, I'm still working on it. I'm trying to get it as close as possible. There are some formulas on there in there that I don't understand. Maybe one of you guys can figure it out and let me know. Send me the formula. But that's what today's video is about. Um, how to use the spreadsheet. I actually go through it and um, show you how to fill it out and everything. Uh, but keep in mind, it is a spreadsheet. It's customizable. If there's something you want to add to it, you can. This is just what I use. It works great, so uh, don't mind the mess back there. Um, I just went to the grocery store and I'm organizing. Um, I'm here at Springfield Terminal. It's uh, April, it's Sunday, April seventeenth. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, everybody, this is the uh, the estimated earnings spreadsheet that I use. Um, I love it. It works great. It puts you within plus or minus $100 of what your check could be. But, of course, just like any spreadsheet, it's fully customizable. You can change it the way that you want it. You can change the wording. You can change whatever. You can, you know, change formulas if you want to. You know, you can do whatever you want. But let me show you how I use it, how it's used. First off, I stop, you know, you put in your, your trip number. So I'm going to go through my trips for this week. So you put in the trip number, 859. Okay. Now, notice when you put your trip number, it automatically shows up down here in the fuel section. Automatically shows up. Okay, so anyway, for this trip, we're going to put in the empty miles. Then we're going to put in the loaded miles. Then you just put in your line haul. Then your FUSU and FUSU whatever, that's your fuel surcharge. If you have a reefer fuel surcharge and a truck fuel surcharge, you just add them together and put it in there. Next is going to be your STPA and STPI is your stop pay. I don't have anything. Uh, miscellaneous could be whatever extra pay you're getting. So you would put that in there. Layover, that's self-explanatory if you got your... <clears throat> if you're getting any layover pay, you put there. So then it automatically totals it up for you. Now I... Uh, 
It has a little fuel requirement, you know, depending on, I got it set for eight miles to the gallon. Um, so it'll tell you how much fuel you at least need to do that run. So we put in my next load. Put in empty miles. Now it automatically totals up the total mileage, so make sure that matches your dispatch. And again, you just put in the line haul. And then your fuel surcharge. And then whatever else you got, okay? And then you put in your fuel. Now keep in mind the reason why it's not accurate is because you put in the total amount of what you paid at the pump and that doesn't account for the discount you get with Prime. However, I am working on an upgraded spreadsheet that has another page to it that you actually put in what you get with fuel and then you put in the prime discount and it'll give you it just figures up everything and then it makes it more accurately in other words you're going you're, you're going to get a, a a truck fuel credit and a discount credit on, on your or a reefer credit on your settlement so I'm working on a second page to you have to you have to input primes price and the and the fuel pumps the pump price and all that and it'll figure it out then I'll transfer over here to this page so but I'm not quite done with that yet so I only got fuel one time this week and uh, I just completed my second load I didn't have to get fuel so. Anyway, this middle section is for your expenses, you know, mainly fuel. Now this right here, okay, this right, this number right here is your total fixed expenses that comes out of your settlement every week, no matter what. These are the fixed expenses that do not change. It's the same amount every week, okay? So right now, since for these two loads, I'm looking at about, you scroll down here to the bottom, about a, you know, $1,100 check. Plus or minus, give or take. Now right here, this section here, it's got your tire, your tire fund, your emergency fund. I have $200 going into my emergency fund every week. Now you could change that formula to where it, uh, whatever, if you have a percentage, you can change it to you have a percentage of your amount, you know, whatever amount, or you can just put in a fixed amount. Um, excessive mileage. I don't know if that formula is correct. If any of you guys know if these formulas are correct, let me know, please. So anyway, this, this right here is your total mileage or your total uh, mileage that you've done, I believe. Yep, total mileage. And then down here at the bottom, 
that gives you the cost per mile. I don't know how accurate that is. If any of you smart guys want to check the formulas and, and correct them for me, that'd be fine. That'd be great. Over here, it tells you your average cents per mile for the week for the two loads that I've done. And then down here in the recap, it tells you how much total fuel you've got. You spent on fuel, reefer fuel, um, advances, uh, reefer fuel that you get credit back. And then uh, down here, it gives you your totals and stuff. And this this right here, it says estimated sediment due to owner. That's what your check should be. So, but anyway, that's that's it. That's the uh, estimated earnings. Now, like I said, this is a spreadsheet. You can customize it the way you do want to. You don't have to. You can put your own formulas in there. You can do whatever you want. This is just what I use. And it works out great for me. So that's it. Well, that's it. That's the spreadsheet. Um, if you want the spreadsheet, you can either message me um, either on Instagram or Facebook Messenger um, or check out the description below I'll have links to each, to both formats uh, the Apple format numbers and Excel you just click on the link and then you can download it so that's it my new 4k Samsung TV which is where I use my PC at it's just a little side note if you guys have a TV or you're in the market to get a TV, I highly recommend that Samsung. It's a 32 inch Samsung 4K TV. The colors, the picture is just unbelievable. Watching movies is a whole new experience for me now. But anyway, if you like this video, subscribe, hit that uh, notification bell button. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.